Have you ever wanted an alarm system where it's almost impossible for the burglar to try to turn the alarm off, but you built it so you know how to turn it off? Well, this is how you're going to make a burglar-proof burglar alarm in Minecraft. So, it looks... So, this is... Don't mind that, there's just random machines. This is the whole thing. And... They're going to come in here... And say, so for example, they've got, I don't know, x ray for looking for diamonds. This chest is full of diamonds. They're going to be like, oh yeah, this button opens this up. But then an alarm starts going off, and it's like, oh crap. They know I've been here. So they're going to try desperately to click this button to shut the door and hopefully turn it off. You don't turn it off. So what they're going to do is they're just going to either run away or. Take all the diamonds and then run away. Now how to turn this off is this little corner right here. I just want to throw something in there. I'm going to activate something. So you can click that again. And how to stop that annoying piston from going off. You just need to go in here. Jump. And come out. Now let me explain. So what we have right here is what I like to call a broken toggle flip-flop. If you're unaware what a toggle flip-flop is, it's an input from a button that pushes forward a redstone block onto a redstone circuit. And the thing is, it's not an ugly lever that you can flip up and down. You can just use it from a button and it keeps it on or off. Now the thing is with a broken one is that this piston stops quickly stops redstone input being put to this one, which causes it to toggle on and off. Now, since I've led repeaters back to this piston, it's constantly going to have that button pushed off. So no matter how hard you try, you are not going to be able to shut that off. What that leads to is, yes, it opens the door, but there's also an observer behind there that leads to another toggle flip-flop that sets off this really annoying alarm. And you're probably wondering, how the hell do I shut it off? Well, what happens is, there is minecart hopper under here with hoppers feeding into each other on and off, on and off again. The comparator looking into it, then a redstone repeater running off and constantly pushing up and down this button and what this piston. And what that's going to do, push up and down a glass block. And why it's glass block? is because glass block can't have redstone input through it so even if that's turned on that's gonna it's not gonna have any redstone input through it and what's also it's gonna do is it's gonna flick off any it's gonna flick off that redstone repeater basically allowing you to turn that flicker on and off again and all you have to do to turn it off is crash through this hole Quickly destroy this vine, click the thing that's in it, and then jump out. I hope you enjoyed Kraken's home lawn security, and if you'd like more of this type of video, drop a comment down at the bottom, maybe a like and subscribe. Maybe I could do more home front security, maybe not. I don't know, this might have been a one-off thing, but hope you enjoyed, and can't wait to see you in the next video. Goodbye.